The special orders board is unlocked for all second year one when you walk into town. This board is similar to the help wanted request where NPCs can request items or tasks from you. But these requests have a longer time frame to complete them and come with bigger rewards. The board will reset every Monday and you'll always be given two different quests to choose between. Some of the rewards from completing these items will give you a recipe that will be needed for perfection and sometimes you'll receive helpful items. This is the full breakdown of every single quest in alphabetical order and the most efficient way to beat each one. The wizard wants you to collect ectoplasm which you can only get from killing a ghost while this quest is active. You have 7 days to achieve this so head to the mines and continue to reset floors 51 or 55 by going down the elevator, checking the floor for ghosts and going back up to the surface. When you complete this quest you'll be given the mini obelisk recipe and 2500g. Demetrius wants you to catch 10 fish of one kind but it'll depend on what season you're in. To complete this quest within the 7 day period you'll need to stock up on wild bait and a dress spinner to increase the amount of fish that you can catch per day. Upon completing this request, you'll receive the farm computer recipe and the amount of gold that the fish are worth. The minimum amount you can make from this is 300g and the maximum amount is 3000g. Much like the aquatic overpopulation quest, Demetrius has another fishy request for you. He wants you to catch 20 fish, this time based on a specific location. Using wild bait during this quest is the best strategy to complete it within 7 days. Upon completing this quest, you'll also receive the farm computer recipe, so technically you only need to complete one of these two quests. Clint is asking you to slate 50 of either bats, dust sprites, skeletons, or grubs within 7 days. To achieve this if you get bats, floors 41 to 59 are your best bet here as bats spawn frequently and are easy to kill. If you get dust sprites, head to floor 45 and go down to floor 49. These 4 floors have the highest chance of dust sprites. Start on floor 75 if you're going for skeletons and continue down until floor 79 and then reset. For grubs, start on floor 25 and go down to floor 29 and then continue to reset from there. You can also check floor 15 if you're not having any luck on floors 25 to 29. For completing this quest, you'll receive a Geode Crusher recipe and 6000 G. Linus needs your help cleaning up the town and once you collect 20 pieces of trash in one week. You can do this by checking trash cans using crab pots or by fishing. The best strategy is going to floor 100 of the mines and fishing there as there is a 95% chance of catching trash. Upon completing this, you'll get the recipe for fiber seeds and 500 G and a full heart with Linus. For this request, Lewis needs you to ship 100 of a seasonal crop that he chooses. You'll have an entire month to complete this quest and the easiest way to do this is by buying Deluxe Speed Grow from Sandy on the Desert on Thursdays or regular Speed Grow from Pierre. Set up sprinklers and let them rip. You'll get the mini shipping bin from completing this and gold equivalent to half the selling price of the crops. Plus, you're also profiting from the sale of the crops. Gunther needs you to collect 100 pieces of bone within a week. The easiest way to do this is by going to floor 70 of the mines and killing skeletons while resetting when you get to floor 79. Skeletons drop bone fragments which will count as a bone item. If you have Ginger Island unlocked by the time you get this quest, you can farm bone nodes at the dig site here for an easier time. When you complete this quest, you'll get the bone mill recipe and 3500g. Evelyn wants you to collect 12 leaks throughout the entirety of spring so that she can give them to her husband George. Forage will reset on Sunday, so the easiest way to do this is go out every Saturday and check the mountains and the backwoods as those locations have the highest chance of finding leaks. You'll get the coffee maker and 2000g for completing this. Gus wants 24 eggs within 2 weeks to create a massive omelette. You need at least 2 chickens to complete this, but it would be best to have 4 or more. They lay eggs every day and you'll have no problem collecting the eggs you need. With this completed, you'll receive the mini fridge and 3000g. Caroline wants you to harvest and ship 100 ginger, 100 taro root, or 100 pineapple. However, she makes the decision for you. For ginger, use a burglar's ring and kill tiger slimes in the volcano dungeon. There are also ginger spots located on Island West and next to the Island Field Office. Ginger spawns randomly every day, so make sure you're going out frequently and checking when the ginger is available. For taro root, along the river on Island West, plant taro tubers within 3 tiles of the water so that they grow faster. For pineapple, you can collect seeds from tiger slimes and hotheads from the volcano mines. Stock up on these before you accept this quest and then plant them as sprinklers. They'll take 2 weeks to grow and regrow every week. When you complete this, you'll get the solar panel recipe and half the price of the total worth, plus whatever you've made from shipping. Willy needs you to collect 100 bug meat in 1 week so that he can have better bait. Rubs and flies will both drop bug meat, so you can farm these on levels 25 to 29 of the mines. And if you've the burglar's ring, definitely use it here. You'll get the quality baba recipe and 3000g for this quest. Pierre wants 25 gold quality vegetables within one season. To do this, plant 200 of the fastest and cheapest vegetables available that season. In springs, I would recommend parsnips or potatoes, and in summer and fall, I would recommend wheat. 
you can craft regular fertilizer with just sap. He will also give you a mini shipping bin as well as 2500G. The wizard wants prismatic jelly which is a slime drop that is only available during this quest. To complete this quest, go to the mines on a bad luck day and reset floor 5 as there will always be a handful of slimes. You'll receive the monster musk recipe and 5000G. Robin asks you to collect 80 hardwood within one week. Grow mahogany trees which will drop between 8 and 11 pieces of hardwood per tree and if you tree fertilizer as a 60% chance of growing each stage overnight, growing between 7 and 9 days. Accept this quest when you have enough trees growing on your farm and a steel axe to get into the secret woods. Robin will give you the ability to buy the deluxe red double bed at her store, 2000G and one friendship heart with her. Robin wants you to collect either 1000 wood or 1000 stone. If you're asked for wood, make sure you have tons of trees on your farm and in Cindersat Forest before accepting this. You can also buy a wood chipper and chop hardwood in it. If you're asked for stone, mining these boulders drop a ton of stone. Alternatively, you can buy the resources needed to complete this quest from Robin herself. You'll get the recipe for the stone chest upon completion and 2500G. Emily is in need of 5 different stones, ruby, topaz, emerald, jade, and amethyst. You'll have one week to do this, so go to the mines on a good luck day, reset floors 21, 41, and 81 to find gem nodes. Emily gives you the sewing machine and 1000G as well as one heart with her. Pam wants 12 potato juice within 2 weeks. Potato juice takes 4 days and a keg to make. With this in mind, you'll need at least 4 kegs to complete this within the time period. Completing this quest gives you access to the Fish Information Broadcasting Service, also known as the Fibs channel on your TV. It'll tell you what time and where each fish is during the season that you're in, and you'll also get 3000G and one heart with Pam. Willy wants you to catch 5 stingrays, 5 lionfish, and 5 blue discus, all which are found on the island. This is the easiest way to do this within 7 days. You can find these fish all day, but this is the easiest time to catch all 3 of them. Catch 5 lionfish on island south of the docks from 8pm to 2am. Catch blue discus at the dig site river between 2pm and 10pm. And catch stingray in the pirate cove from 8pm to 2am. You'll receive the deluxe fish tank and 2500g for completing this task. Thank you all for watching, I hope you learned something. If you did, make sure to subscribe to catch future guides, and of course, I'll see you in the next one.